Hi, this is Peter Combs from Bitamount.com. Today is Friday, uh, February 24th, 2017. And as always, we're going to take a look back at last week's uh, auction results on eBay. And later in the video, I'm going to talk about an auction that Christie's has coming up uh, during Asia Week in March. It's the Verada collection, uh, an amazing collection of uh, uh, huge amounts of top quality Chinese furniture. And there's a very, it's a very good catalog. It goes uh, quite a bit in depth into the, uh, into the history of the lady who collected it, Marie Therese Verada, her family, her life, um, and who she bought from. And it is the who's who of uh, Chinese art dealers. And it'll show you uh, the importance of um, looking to great dealers to build great collections. But for now, we're going to take a look at last week's uh, newsletter uh, and, and how things did. It was a pretty good week. Good week for people looking to buy things uh, that don't have uh, endless amounts of money to spend. Uh, this was a nice pair of uh, very large, they're about 25 inches tall, uh, rose medallion or uh, uh, Famille Rose vases. Uh, this same seller had a pair on last week, about the same size with garlic miles on them. And this is a very sweet pair. It's a nice looking uh, 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 set. They have uh, good landscape uh, figural scenes and uh, up on the neck you see the landscapes and you have these sort of interior, interior terrace scenes which appear a lot in Chinese uh, uh, porcelain and art. And they did quite well. They brought $3,368, which is a very good price for this pair of aces, but, but not overly priced. And next was this, this very fine silver and uh, enamel box beautifully done, beautiful quality throughout, uh, nice colors, 19th century box, um, and it also did pretty well. It brought uh, $1,100, okay, all right, and this was one of the uh, bargains of the week, I think. It was this rather charming little Ming Dynasty, late Ming bowl. Uh, you can see that it has a little unevenness here on the rim, which is typical of these with these with pine tree and the honeycomb pattern. Nice little bowl, sweet little bowl. Uh, good for a collector of later wares, uh, later Ming wares, that is. And uh, it went quite reasonably, $226. I think that was a very good buy for someone. Um, it was sold by uh, Famille Fan, who uh, we feature uh, fairly often on here. They, they seem to get good things. And next was this. This was the uh, jade uh, box uh, with a jade lid. Beautifully done with flowers and a, uh, and a peacock or a pheasant on the lid. Uh, had uh, some good inlay with these rue heads on the end edges of the box. Nice quality, good old box, probably mid 19th century. And it brought $3,101. And while it's not a small amount of money, uh, this was quite a good carving. Uh, very well done and nice color, nice quality jade. And next was this. This was, this is, uh, I always say, you should be sure to check buy it now. So this thing went up and, and lasted, didn't last long. It was from one of our regular sellers. You put a buy it now on this. This is a good uh, uh, early, mid 17th century uh, uh, decanter. Beautifully done, uh, very classical Chinese blue and white, obviously. Had the typical little firing flaws along it, but no big repairs. And uh, the, the, the seller put it up with a very reasonable buy it now price. This was patinated, uh, a, a seller in uh, Venice, Florida, $600, and it sold immediately. Um, so check other listings uh, and check back. Sometimes we have listings on here um, for, for pieces uh, from sellers who, who end on Wednesday. But during the week, they often add more things. So often go back and check, even though it shows some things that closed on Monday. Go back and check later in the week that same seller. Pretty good chance they put something else up in the meantime. All right. And look for the buy it now. This, this was a, a very reasonable buy. I think that to me looks like about a $1,500 to $2,000 bottle. Somebody, somebody did well. And uh, then we had this. This is a beautiful Famille Ver um, landscape uh, scene uh, dish. Nice, nice quality. Uh, Qing Dynasty has got a Chin Lung mark on it, and I suspect it probably is. Uh, certainly looks it to me. And I think this was a very good buy. Uh, beautiful quality all the way around. There's the back of it, this very detailed iron red uh, decoration of bamboo trees and some uh, lingbai here, some fungus, whatnot. Nice plate, went for $810. Uh, I think somebody got a good buy on that. I thought that would bring a little bit more. It was in the newsletter, so I don't know where everybody was. And then our friend over in the, in the Netherlands, Freak, he, had a, uh, he sells under a couple of names. This is one of them, Atelier 2B. 
he had a good auction up of nice, authentic stuff. He always sells authentic things. And everything went pretty reasonably. If you're a collector, like I said, and you don't have endless amounts of money to spend, keep an eye on him. He has a good eye. He puts things up unreserved. And uh, his sale did fine. Um, but if you're a collector, uh, this is a, a good place to get things. Um, and he's, he's very reputable. And he, uh, he ships on time and describes things fully. Uh, one of the pieces we came up with across a couple, we came up with this when it first went up. We noticed that it. it's an uh, underglaze uh, red and blue, uh, probably a small snuff or a bottle. It's got some calligraphy on it. Had a little bit of damage somewhere on it. I'm trying to think of where it was there. It's got a couple of little chips under the rim. But this is a pretty, pretty sweet little, uh, little bottle. Nice little snuff. And uh, very well drawn, even had some, a little bit of, it looks like underglaze yellow in here, which I think was probably red that turned yellow and uh, in the firing. And uh, it went pretty reasonably, $510. That was a good buy. I, I, I think that was a very nice little bottle. You know, a little nick under the rim I can live with. And there was this, this pair of hat stands. Nice, nice very classical, you've all seen them, Famille Rose hat stands. These were really well done though, nicely decorated. And what was amazing on them is that they were drilled. Um, they had drilled bottoms. They had been formerly lamps. There they are. And they're marked China. Um, uh, they're this, that red seal, often you see that red seal. All that really means is that the vases were exported after 1895. It uh, doesn't mean they were made much after that. They could have, they probably were made in the 1890s. But a nice pair of vases. And they did well. Uh, they brought, uh, I suspect they're going to end up back being lamps again someplace. And they brought $1,258, or roughly 600 bucks a piece, but not an outrageous price for these. Um, perfect, these can bring, a pair like this can bring 1800 And then there was this. This was a very good little buy. This was a nice little Kangxi Chinese Amari uh, 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 melon form teapot. Beautifully decorated, sort of folky in the, in the way it's painted. I like the lid on it. And uh, went quite reasonably, uh, $269. Uh, so the uh, uh, buyer that got it did very well. Um, in a store, you'd, you'd probably pay four or 500 for this easily. And then there was this. This was from uh, a seller down in Florida that uh, we've, we've dealt with uh, many times, downsizing. And uh, this was a very big plate. I, forget, I think this was 59 centimeters or something like that. What was it? Uh, 53 centimeters, which is a big plate. That's a charger. And uh, beautifully done, nice, uh, nice figural scene on it, very desirable, with some incise decoration. And uh, it brought $5,100, all right? Uh, this, this was not a steal. They paid, somebody paid a good price for this. But big plates in this of this type are very unusual. Uh, most of them are uh, seven or eight inches in diameter, maybe nine inches. This was a whopper. This one was, was upwards of 18 or 19 inches. Now, coming up uh, this week, this closes on Sunday. It'll be in the newsletter. This is a, a, a Lung Lexus. Uh, does well with Chinese export. And he's got this very nice Chinese export porcelain tankard. It's a really nice one. Nice uh, 18th century example. Uh, seems to be in good shape all the way around. Beautifully painted, nice faces. And uh, if you're a, a tankard collector, this is something you might want to look into. It's only up to $42. I suspect it'll rise a bit. But it's, it's probably a $300 to $400 tankard, nice tankard. And uh, also closing on Monday and Tuesday is uh, Joni's up in Canada. They have a, a sale up with a, about 100 pieces on it. Um, and here it is. They have a, a couple of bronzes that are doing very, very well. And uh, some, uh, some jade tablets and whatnot. There's some good things. So uh, check them out. Uh, they close on Monday. And uh, this is closing in five hours. If you see this video today and you like jade, this is a nice example. Beautifully done box with a beautiful lid, nicely carved jade top on it, and uh, very good quality. And uh, don't, don't miss out on it if you're a jade buyer. And uh, our friend uh, Tony over in France uh, sells under the name of Scrap Dixon. He's a British guy who lives over in France and he goes out picking. He has a good eye. He knows a lot in a lot of categories. And he's got this rather nice um, uh, sort of Sung type uh, celadon. I don't think it's I don't think it's Sung. I think it's probably Ming or so. But but beautiful quality. A nice looking vase, turned top, and uh, uh, relief worked uh, blossoms on it. 
it's a good a good example and I, as far as I know it's in good condition so uh, you might want to check that out now on to the Verada collection here it is we took we put a post on our uh, um, website about it and uh, there it is I'm sorry about the fire uh, there's a firehouse near here and every once in a while they go by it's kind of loud uh, here it is this was is an extraordinary collection we put this on the blog this week the auction uh, information is all here it's going to take place on Thursday March 15th and uh, we also if you click on this this catalog uh, you can also get it off their uh, page on our site under dealers and collectors here's the catalog and uh, Marie Therese Verada, Teresa Verada, lived here. Uh, pretty nice house in the Philippines, and she had an amazing eye for art, and she had a considerable amount of wealth, and she spent it on art, and she was also a big fan of archaeology. She would fund archaeolo archaeological digs all over Southeast Asia uh, just because she was fascinated by it, and she was fascinated by art and beautiful things. This is the interior of the house. Uh, as you can see, there's some extremely rare uh, pieces in here. Uh, a wonderful Japanese screen, but then you have these sort of Pan-Asian uh, table uh, floor lanterns and these very rare stools, an extremely rare, rare Zeton daybed. Um, and the catalog is just full of uh, house pictures. And there's a lot of biography about her in, in, this, in this. And if you want to read the biography, you can do it out of the catalog. If you look up here in the corner, there's a zoom button, and you can zoom in and um, read the stories about her and her collection and um, um, her friendship with Alice, Alice Boney, the renowned dealer, as, as well as a lot of other people. Um, here's some uh, more on her. She was a friend of uh, uh, Grace Wu Bruce, legendary Chinese uh, uh, dealer, as well as um, uh, Ellsworth and uh, many more, many, many more. And there she is, there's a whole biography on her, her family, uh, how she collected with her children. It was a real love affair and uh, lots of pictures. Really interesting, uh, really interesting. Take some time with it, it's fun. And then it gets into the collection. Christie's did a great job with the collection. They did a lot of the photography in the house and uh, showed the rooms with these beautiful yellow wall, egg yolk yellow walls, the furniture, uh, this beautiful, there's a couple of very nice Chinese carpets in here. And obviously the furniture is out of this world. It's just great Chinese furniture and it goes on and on and on. It's uh, really, really exceptional. This is a, a very famous uh, uh, compound chest that came from the, the, the Pickus collection uh, that was sold uh, at Christie's years ago. She bought it and it was also handled by Nicholas Grindley, another great dealer. And uh, they have some good pictures in here. Here's the, the, from the DeSantos collection, another Philippine collection, collector, is this incense table. Uh, very, very nice, Juan Wali table. Uh, beautiful quality, just great. And uh, here it is again in, in the house. Um, and and you, you know, what's interesting is that I noticed that the, the little incense stand burner on here is probably worth about $800, but doesn't it look great on top of a, 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 a you know, six-figure uh, incense burner, <laughs> incense stand? Here's her monochrome collection in her library. Uh, beautiful, beautiful monochromes. About, she liked, she was a fan of double gourds and bottle form vases, and she's got a nice Kang in there. And it goes on right through. So if you, if you uh, uh, are a fan of Chinese furniture or, you, or, you, or you're interested in the lives of collectors, this is a real opportunity. And uh, it'll be on our website in the blog and on Christie's uh, uh, page under dealers and auctioneers uh, forever. We, we maintain it on the cloud and you can go and look at it. And that's it. That's it for the week. Uh, we have some things coming up this week and uh, some other news later and we're going to cover some more of Asia Week. Uh, as it uh, evolves, we're going to take a look at the uh, Fujita collection next week. Uh, the Fujita Museum is selling some amazing bronzes and celadons and we're going to share them with you. All right. Have a great weekend and look forward to seeing you all next time. Bye-bye.